Hi friends, it's Rebecca from New Creation. For the last several weeks, we've been talking about Mary's pregnancy and Jesus' birth and then the days of his early childhood. I wanna keep talking about that today by sharing some of my favorite pictures of Jesus when he was a baby or a young child. And these are all pictures by an artist named Kelly Latimer. And Mr. Latimer specializes in icons. So icons are up close portraits or pictures of a person's face or more than one person. Um, and these are people who are from, maybe from the Bible, but also from Christian history, or um, they could even, you'll see here, be not specific people, like it's not just one real person from history, but a, a person we can imagine. And the details of the picture tell us something about their life and kind of encourage us in our own faith. And one thing you'll see in icons is there's always, um, a gold or yellow circle behind a person's head and that means that they are a good model for us in our faith. Um, these are all pictures of at least Mary and Jesus and sometimes other pictures too. I like this first one because I like the dark skin of Mary and and Jesus here. A lot of times in Western art and art from the US and all art from Europe a lot of times our pictures of Jesus um, show him with very light skin, um, but I like this one with dark skin. I also really like how she's holding him so their cheeks touch, so their cheek to cheek, because I've had three children and I always like to hold my babies like that too. So that's something that Mary and I would have in common. Hey, wait a second, you say this picture isn't a picture of what Mary and Jesus would have looked like because they're wearing hoodies and a sweatshirt with a zipper. They didn't have zippers back then, and that little baby's wearing sneakers, and Jesus wouldn't have worn sneakers, and you're right. One, one way that art can help us understand our faith better is to kind of help us think about it in a new way, and so this would be like a contemporary picture of Jesus. If Jesus and Mary were alive today, what might their situation look like? Well, if you remember from the Bible, Jesus and Mary and Joseph were refugees. They had to run away from danger, try to go to another country, Egypt, to flee danger and find safety. And that's what this is a picture of. It's a mother carrying her little baby to safety, a refugee. We see she's traveling at night. See the moon in the background? She looks worried, like maybe something, she's worried about getting to safety. But I also see that she loves her baby. What's one detail that tells me that? He's wearing a hat and a hoodie. Right? She's got to make sure that baby has a warm head and that he is cared for, even though she's, she's worried as she travels. Here's a similar one. This one is Mary and Joseph and Jesus. We call that the Holy Family. When people say the word Holy Family, that's what they mean. Also traveling by night. And Kelly Latimer calls this one the Refugee Holy Family. So when we see refugees today, people who are fleeing, running away from danger in their own country, trying to get to a country where it's safe, we should remember that that's how Jesus' family lived too. I like in this picture how Joseph has his arm around Mary. I'm sure that, you know, she knew she, where she was going, but um, I think it probably made them both feel better to hold each other. Ooh, I like this one too. This is also Mary and Jesus' son Joseph. And um, this kind of puts them in the Middle East, or a Muslim majority nation, we can guess because of the head covering the woman wears. And in the background, we see kind of hilly and rocky um, lands, and the sun is either going up or down. I don't know, um, but you can see there's, oops, there's sunrise or sunset over on that side. And um, we'll see how much they care about each other. One detail I like this is how Joseph is touching baby Jesus's head. Right? He doesn't have to do that. He just does that maybe to calm the baby or to maybe to calm himself to feel connected. Here's another one that shows Mary and Joseph and Jesus together. This one's called the, the Homeless Holy Family. And it helps us remember that Jesus and his family, we don't know exactly what their situation was when they were refugees, but we do know that um, usually people who are fleeing, don't they're fleeing because they don't have a safe home. So we don't know if they stayed in inns or with family or what that looked like. We also know when they came to Bethlehem, right? When Mary went to 
give birth to Jesus on the day we celebrate as Christmas, there was no room for them at the inn. Um, that the city was full and they didn't have people to stay with. And so they ended up sleeping in a stable where the animals sleep. And so when we see families today that don't have safe houses to live in, we should look at them and we should think about Jesus and Joseph and Mary and we should care for them just like we would care for Jesus and Mary and Joseph. So if Mary knocked on our door today or, um, and said, I need help, we would want to give them help. And so we're so we are to love people without a safe housing in the same way. This is my favorite one. Oh, I got to back up a little bit here. This, I chose this picture for our last one because on Tuesday, the Christian church celebrates a holiday called the presentation of the Lord, that is Jesus, at the temple. Jesus' family was Jewish. And so um, for Jewish families, after the baby was born, eventually he would be presented at the temple, brought to the temple, which is the place where Jewish people worshipped God. And so um, this would have been, a, this is like a depiction of his first time coming to the place where God is worshipped. For Christians, we would, this would be, a, um, right, this would be a church. For Jewish people, it was a temple. And um, I like this one a lot because I think you see how happy the people are. And um, so excited to see the see Jesus. On the one side, we have a man with a rooster. I bet he's going to make a gift to Mary and Joseph so they have enough food. And they don't have to worry about preparing their meals with a newborn. And then I, my favorite part um, of this picture is on the left. It's the old lady with her hands out. She's like, when do I get to hold Jesus? Can I hold the baby? Can I hold the baby? Can I hold the baby? And... Um, she's so excited to see him. You know, I bet the first time you came to New Creation, I know the first time you came to New Creation, there were grown-ups who were just as excited to see you as these people were to see Jesus. That's if you were a baby, we were so excited to see you. Or if you were an older child the first time you came, we were so excited to see you. And that's why I really like this picture and I really like the presentation of the Lord at the temple because it reminds us how to welcome children at church and that we're glad you're here and that God is glad you're here.